house people. We don't know if that means in a hotel, but I definitely don't put it past them that possibly that is a uh, something that could Well, happen. you know, they were getting food a lot better than the prison food Michelle orders our kids to eat. They were complaining about the HEB hot meals. They weren't good enough, so maybe it's caviar. Well, you remember, Alex, that one of the first reports I did when I came to InfoWars was how a school in Chicago, they were feeding kids rat turds. You know, they, the rats got in there and they ate up all the food and they left the droppings and the kids got sick eating this stuff. And, you know, and that's one of the Michelle Obama things that you have to eat this food. They don't allow the kids to pretty much eat whatever they want to eat. So now they have to rely on the school system that may or may not be providing nutritious foods. Well, we're going to come back with John Bowne and get his breakdown on this. You guys are doing a great job. And, and I guess the word is you're going to come back tonight. Yeah, I'm going to try to get back tonight, hit a few things uh, on the way heading back north. All right, good. And then let's pick some places to go. Maybe we should go to Virginia or New York in these Democrat towns. I was reading about one with 10,000 kids in it in a town of 20,000. The town is now collapsing. And again, we're going to talk about this is this is the false flag, one of the false flags. Thank you, uh, Jakari. Now, tell us about this report I'm about to air. Caught red-handed, Border Patrol paying to ship illegals deep into the U.S. The church you were at, who you were talking to. Yes, we came back here to McAllen, Texas. People may remember this is where we began our, our start on day one. Uh, we went to the bus stations and we saw the church groups picking up people. So we go to the church. We say, hey, are you housing the people here? She said, no, we just pick them up. We bus them. They're at the other church, which is the church behind me, the Sacred Heart. They're getting, uh, they're getting hot meals, they're getting showers, and then they're getting back on the buses and going to wherever they're going here in the United States. And at the time we came originally, there was nobody available to talk. So we came back last night trying to see, you know, what was going on and some new developments that happened. And from the time we left, as I mentioned earlier, if you're just joining us, the major news networks, we were told were here, CNN, Good Morning America, they stopped by after we came here and, and broke the ground. And since we've come back, we found a tent outside of the facility. They said their facility was not big enough to house everybody. So they have the tent out here. We talked to the emergency city manager, also a mayor pro tem. They gave us uh, pretty much all the information they had. And it's a good report. You should watch it. All right, and you talked to the head emergency manager, Kevin Pagan. Yes. Uh, there in McAllen, uh, who's very proud of all this. We're going to go to part of that report, full video, up on Infowars.com with video still shots as well. This is just over the top, joke level. Thank you, Jakari. Then we'll come back from break and get John Bounds' take on this as well. Reporting from McAllen, Texas, the Infowars.com crew. I come to you from the Infowars.com news center in Austin, Texas, formerly in Texas, now FEMA Region 6. Uh, let's go ahead and go to this clip. So as far as you know, they come across the border, they encounter the Border Patrol, and the Border Patrol brings them to a facility such as the bus station. No, they don't bring them there. They take them, they initially take them to the Border, the border Patrol station. Yes. And they detain them there and they process them there. And then after they process them, the, ones, the only ones that you'll see here are family units mm -hmm. that are like a mom and a couple of kids that they have determined don't pose any sort of security risk and right. have a criminal background and they've got relatives or um, help somewhere in the interior. Mm -hmm. So that category <laughs> of people, again, it was our understanding, they provide them a ticket right? and then they drop The them Border Patrol provides them a ticket? That's what we were told and that's what I understood, but obviously some of them did or, or they're arranging tickets with them there, There's you know what I mean, means. with a relative that's paying for something. I don't know. It, it's all, it's all word of mouth, man. It's all, uh, they're all calling back home and saying, hey, you know, you know come on over. All yeah. I know is that until today, 99% of them that got off the Border Patrol bus at our bus station had a ticket. Right. And so all we, all, all the, all the um, charitable organizations were doing. All was right, let's stop right there. Clothes, Sensationally them. evil sensational level tyranny and treason did you hear that the border patrol sh they come to the border they're loaded on buses they're not even turned around or bus back they're taken to the sacred heart as a huge complex they're fed prepared something i didn't get when i'd be put on a greyhound to be sent to family for two weeks in the summer they're just red carpeted then they're shipped into the interior and 99 percent of them or he said 90 plus percent it was kind of garbled. Already have a ticket when the Border Patrol drops them off. I mean, that, that, that is just, that will be a national news story today on Fox. CNN will say it's a great thing. MSNBC will say it's a great thing. We will get no credit at Infowars.com, but that doesn't matter. Our credit is getting the truth out. Our credit is trying to expose this takeover. Our credit is trying to have something left of a free society. This is the Cloward and Piven bankrupt America strategy.
And the Democrats in the big Democrat cities that are hosting this are freaking out right now as thousands of people show up in their small towns, tens of thousands in their cities. I mean, this is just the beginning. The flood is only beginning. Obama's having TV shows honoring the illegal kids. People see that worldwide. That's on Latin American TV, Chinese TV, you name it. The people are coming, folks. And they're getting a free ride. I mean, only in the bankrupted America. This is a military-style invasion to bankrupt everything. And I feel sorry for the folks from Latin American countries that are in hell holes. I don't blame them for wanting to come here, but it doesn't matter. There's still be. I'm not against water in a fire hose. I like water. I need water to live. I'm a water guy. I like to swim, I like to fish, I like water sports, you name it. Love jet skiing, you name it. Water volleyball, the whole nine yards. But if somebody turns up water high enough, it'll cut through your flesh. And they've got trillions of pounds of pressure, like they use a strip mine with fire hoses to cut down mountains, just cutting America in half, just like knife through butter. Boom, hot knife through butter. I mean, this is all in the beginning. I mean, we're gonna have 20, 50 million, it's over. Total collapse of America. The armored vehicles are standing by to confiscate our guns. Hillary Clips coming up. Qaeda used it to take over the whole Middle East and threatened to bring down the West, so they had to take all our rights. They found three specific clips with the dates. Coming up, we're gonna play. Then we have multiple federal marshal, air marshal, whistleblowers coming on about 15 into the next hour that ties into how it's all fake. Major whistleblowing information of national, international import coming up as the whistleblowers just reach out to us. We do investigations and vet it. John Bound uh, is uh, now down on the border as well. John, I mean, it is so off the chart to have the head emergency manager of McAllen, one of the biggest cities down there on the border, say the Border Patrol is providing them with tickets to go, quote, be with their families in the interior. So they, they are deploying them, are paying to penetrate all the way into the U.S. and get signed up for welfare. Sensational, sensational evil John Bound. Yeah, and uh, the interesting part of the video, one of the interesting parts was the invasion loophole. The usage of Central Americans, Honduras, El Salvador, and Guatemala, because the loophole... Uh, if you come here from Mexico, they just take you to the border and send you back. But the strategy of Cloward Piven to basically, uh, as as uh, Richard Cloward said, to the New York Times in 1970, following the Watts riots of 1965, he said that the only way that poor people can advance, i.e. socialism can advance, is for the rest of society to be afraid of them. And so here we are with this um, soft invasion similar to the Nazis uh, killing of all the Jews back in World War II and then now the soft invasion of killing us softly. We have this soft invasion that the harder invasion harkens back to the Klan and the Democratic Party and the Liberal Party agenda uh, that most people aren't aware of is the fact that the Democratic Party used the Klan against their enemies, the Republicans. Well, they founded and it, and, and then the Republicans passed the Civil Rights Act, so they switched and became the minority party, but it's all racial-based politics, and that's exactly what's going on, driving down the wages. They got the unions to vote for NAFTA and GATT that slit their own throats as well. That's the thing about, the and the Republican leadership is part of this as well, but the fact that the Border Patrol is paying to ship them deep into the U.S., that should be the top story in the country. Uh, where are you guys going next, John Bound? Yeah, that's completely treason to answer that. We're going to the Border Patrol station next, and uh, we're going to take the uh, iPad video, and we're going to show them, we're going to get in their face and basically explain to them that they are committing treason, that uh, what they're doing is uh, un-American. That's, right, that's right, that's right. I would serve them a notice, type it up on a sheet, yeah. and I'd go to the police department as well, and I'd say, we're reporting crimes, you're shipping them into the country, and show that as well. Great job, John. We'll talk to you more uh, in the last 30 minutes of the show, uh, if you're able. Thank you. All right, we're going the break ladies and gentlemen we'll be right back after this um, break with the second hour please remember this hour is brought to you by mypatriotsupply.com forward slash alex to find all the great specials they are a wonderful storable foods company they have a lot of other preparedness items great customer service non-gmo 866-229-0927 mypatriotsupply.com forward slash alex if you don't have storable food now with all this going on, you are insane. We'll be back. Infowars.com. Thank you for Become a PrisonPlanet.tv member. See the nightly Visit news. Support the resistance of the takeover. We are the resistance. You are the resistance. 
I've always believed in nutrition and herbs. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals sourced from powerful organic herbs harvested around the planet and then concentrated for maximum potency. I just received my Male Vitality about three days ago, and I must say that is good stuff. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. I jump out of bed ready to fight these criminals every day. I, I look forward to waking up and, and taking my Super Male Vitality and get the day started. It's not just the Super Male Vitality. All the products in InfoWarsLife.com are simply amazing. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life.